Oh, Taurus. What's good? What's good? We're going to see what's going on with the Taurus squad. You feel me? First up, you heard? All right, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I seen Aries on those. I was like, no, nah, we're going with Taurus first. You feel me? I said just like that, Taurus first. You feel me? So let's see what's good. You already know praise to the most high for having us here in the first place. You already know we're highly favored and protected, meaning no weapon form shall prosper. If they want to try. <laughs> By all means, you know what I mean? Nonetheless, let's see what's good and what's going on with the Taurus gang. Oh, justice. As you can see, the scales are being balanced. All right, okay. Any wrong is being made right, and it's looking like it's a bit of a sticky situation. Okay, let's get, let's get going. Let's see what's good with Taurus. Taurus. Eight of Wands. Okay, so... Coming in quick, as you can see, it looks to be an apology. All right. Somebody's going to be pouring their emotions into this heartfelt message. And it looks like it's going to come in hot, possibly even unexpected the way it's crashing in. Okay. No judgment. No judgment. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. All right. So it looks like they took some time to themselves to heal, to recover, to recuperate. And with that, they definitely released some uh, perspectives that weren't exactly serving them, made them feel a bit wonky when they really took that time to themselves. It looks like they had a, a bit of a, a rest period or time out, you feel me? They had, they, had, they had to go sit down and they weren't allowed to play with the others because they weren't playing nice, basically. Okay, okay, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, let's see what we got. Mm. Ooh, there's something that was definitely hidden that will be brought to the light okay and it may have something to do with the empress meaning you your love your energy let's let's get into that let's get into this moon energy taurus what's good seven of wands okay so maybe they're not sure how you are going to handle this or handle them Okay, it looks to me that you've managed to put some boundaries up between the two. And you're just kind of like keeping everything at bay. All right? You're kind of doing your own thing. It's a bit of a mystery what's going on with you, at least to this energy. And um, it's kind of making them antsy, wanting to come forward, wanting to fix things, wanting to speak. Okay? And honestly, as you can see, they're, they're moving faster because of the disconnect with this Queen of Swords. Okay, okay, somebody's good with the sword, I see. All right, so here we come, Six of Cups. All right, those reconciliation vibes, making a return, okay? As you can see, he's offering a cup, all right? And she is spitting out, I wanted to say fire, but it doesn't look like fire anymore, but he's definitely offering a cup, and he's stepping up to the plate in the Divine Masculine Energy. Not only is he stepping up to the plate, Divine Masculine Energy, but he's gonna take accountability for the situation. All right, as I said, reconciliation vibes with the Six of Cups. The Emperor to the Empress. Okay, I like it. I like it, Taurus. Okay, so what's going to happen? Wheel of Fortune on the table. What? How will this turn of events affect the situation? We're not sure, but I definitely like the fact that he is definitely stepping up and he's taking a chance. Okay, bottom of the deck, King of the Swords to the Queen of Swords. Yes, you guys could be separated, but I see you both analyzing the situation. I'm going to be realsies. It's not so much that, oh, we're separated, we're divorced, I'm not playing that. But more or less, you're both looking at the situation through a very logical lens, okay? He's a he wants to approach you appropriately. He doesn't want to get cut with your sword. And, you know, there's little to no communication between the two right now. Okay, so somebody's wishing to heal the situation, and they're taking their time moving in on this. All right, he's taking his time. He wants to, again. He wants to do this appropriately. Okay, and it all starts with the message, an excited, exciting, engaging message. All right. All right. Now in this message, oh, I see that there. Boom. Okay. In this message, normally when I see the five of cups, it's not presented like this. All right, in this message, he may present to you, you know, the upset, the sorrow, the sadness that actually happened being uh, separated from his soulmate, recognizing the happiness, the joy and the true um, soulmate recognition or the, you know, the like energy from him to you, you to him and how you guys truly bring some sense of balance. All right. So I like it. 
I like this message. I'm not gonna lie, you feel me? I'm not a fan of returning energies, but... Taurus, this one's did some thinking, done some thinking. All right, they sat down. They really took their time to rest. Uh-huh, nine of swords. So they're anxiety-ridden, all right? Lots of sleepless nights about this turn of events. All right, at the end of the day, they want to build. They want this situation. They want to build. They want to invest. They want to grow old with this Queen of Swords energy. All right, Seven of Cups. Honestly, they're doing a lot of fantasizing and daydreaming. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Their head is definitely in the clouds, stuck, stuck between all the shiny stuff. All right, but they're ready to cross the bridge. All right, and they're ready to do that with their Two of Cups. Mmm, Taurus, are you serious? All right, Taurus, don't talk to us like that. Let's see what's goody with the Taurus gang. All right, we're going to go with the Hidden Truth and In the Shadows. Mixed together, my own personal creation. Let's see what's good. Let's see if we get any extra messages. What's going on, Taurus? I want you. Mmm. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of feeling that towards the fem feminine side. Okay. I left before you can leave me. Oh, excuse me. Somebody's playing hard to get. Okay, Taurus. Finding out the truth crushed me. Ooh, it looks like somebody's got a fear that he's not good enough for you, possibly. Oh, man. This is getting rough, Taurus. What is this? Is that what happened? Is that how you guys got here? They felt as if they weren't good enough for the situation? So they left you? Mmm. All right, we're going to leave that one right there. Bottom of the deck, I don't trust you, and I feel like that's the queen speaking. All right, definitely feel like that's the queen saying she does not trust you or the situation. Possibly because this energy you vacated the scene. I love you. Yet, there's still love. <laughs> Yet, there's still love. That's interesting. I'm not going to lie. I've been in that situation before. Or you're just, you know, you're not really sure what the turn of events will be. So, let's just leave this here. All right. Let's definitely leave this here, Taurus. As you can see, your King of Swords is coming in as an Emperor, stepping up to the plate, taking accountability, ready to make his wrongs right. Okay? So, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed the reading. This was a dope read. All right? So, we'll just leave this one right here, and um, hopefully you guys can work this out. Apparently, there's still love here. All right? So, praise the Most High, and see you soon. Love and light.